Have you heard of Kelly Maroney? There are so many actresses out there whose stories have never been told, and yet they have a very exciting past behind them. Kelly's story is full of secrets and exciting facts that we will share with you today. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Best known for Kelly Maroney is an American actress who has appeared in films and on television. On the big screen, she starred in the films Fast Times at Ridgemont High in 1982, Night of the Comet in 1984, and Chopping Mall in 1986. And she also appeared on television in the drama series Ryan's Hope and on the soap opera One Night to Live. In addition to Cindy Carr in Fast Times at Ridgemont High in 1982, and Samantha Belmont in Night of the Cornet in 1984, Maroney's most well-known film performances include Jamie in The Zero Boys in 1985, and Allison in in Chopping Mall in 1988. Her daytime television roles included Kimberly Harris Bulick on the serial opera Ryan's Hope in 1979 through 1983, and Tina Lord on One Night to Live from 1984 to 1985, both of which she performed for over a decade. She has made a number of guest appearances on television shows, including True Blood, Family Feud, Simon and Simon, Murder, She Wrote, FBI, The Untold Stories, and Chicago Hope among many others. She appeared on the cover of People magazine in 1980 for an article titled Torrid Teens on the Soaps, which she wrote with actresses Jeannie Francis and Kristen Vigard. Jeffrey Reddick and Lisa Wilcox appeared as guests on the Playboy TV Halloween episode So Sexy It's Scary, which Maroney appeared on as a guest in 2015. She appeared as a guest and was interviewed on Elena Douglas's 2019 podcast, I Blame Dennis Hopper, which was hosted by Elena Douglas. It will be featured in the 2019 documentary, Time Warp, The Greatest Cult Films of All Time, which includes an interview with her. Difficult Beginnings Hollywood has always been blessed with some of the most talented performers and actresses, and this has been true since the beginning of the industry. There are a plethora of role models from which the present generation of actors draws inspiration and learns their timing, poise, and charisma. Kelly Maroney is without a doubt one of those people. Kelly Maroney's films are among a select group of films that have garnered a great deal of attention from people all over the world. If any of you readers have seen Ryan's Hope, there is a good chance that you are familiar with this actress. If you still don't understand what we're talking about, we're here to walk you through the process once and for all. Early Childhood and Educational Experiences Kelly Maroney was born and raised in Minnesota, where she spent most of her youth. We have no information on her parents or siblings, but we believe she was reared in a loving and caring environment. After all of Maroney's successful attempts in the acting industry, it's possible her family culture is based on the freedom to choose a job that defies stereotypes. However, when it comes to the economical background, there is little information that can be relied upon. Based on the manner in which Kelly has conducted herself up to this point, we are confident that this actress has received an excellent education. Kelly may have graduated from a prestigious acting school, which has allowed her groom to establish himself as one of the most well-known figures in the performing world's fringe. It is more common for actors to be recognized for the roles they perform on screen than for the characters they portray off screen. Maroney, on the other hand, has performed admirably in both roles. Ryan's Hope is without a doubt one of the most well-known roles in which this actress has appeared. This show aired from 1979 to 1983 and was one of the most popular shows on television at the time. Aside from her role in this series, some of her other notable projects and films have included Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Night of the Comet, The Zero Boys, Chopping Mall, and others. Her performance and the manner she presented the role won her a large number of admirers all around the world for her work. Aside from the previously listed projects, among the artists most well-known in popular films and television shows include Hard to Die, Not This Earth, Audition, and Lip Service, making an attempt at more serious film roles. The drama subgenre was something Kelly yearned for, despite the fact that she enjoyed horror films and had the privilege of working with some genuinely exceptional people while filming them. Kelly was not the only one who felt this way. This was her first love from school before she decided to pursue it as a profession. She wanted to give it one more go before calling it quits. Thanks to the assistance of Bryant Clemens, she was able to portray the slave girl, Margiana, in The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. In 1973, Kelly was also a member of the Ray and Diana Harryhausen Foundation's board of directors. The same year, she starred in Joan Collins's I Don't Want to Be Born in 1975. She appeared in A Journey to the Center of the Earth in 1975, directed by Peter Cushing and Doug McClure in 1976. Pamela Stevenson and Lindsay Duncan starred in the horror film The Angels of Death, in which she played Tammy, a nurse who works for a terrifying healthcare facility. 
Possibilities for advancement in the foreseeable future. For Kelly's acting career, the 1980s proved to be a productive period as she appeared in an abundance of slasher and Eurotrash films. Maniac, directed by William Lustig, was her feature picture debut in the United States in 1973. After the release of David Winter's multi-award winning 1982 horror film, The Last Horror Film, which was shot during the Cannes Film Festival, she rejoined with her Maniac and Star Crash co-star Joe Spinnell, with whom she had previously worked. Besides Don't Open Till Christmas, 1984, Slaughter High in 1986, Paul Nashie's Howl of the Devil and Faceless in 1988, and other films in which she was featured as a cameo, she appeared in a slew of other films as a cameo. For Demons 6, De Profundis, she rejoined Star Crash director Luigi Cosi. The road to retirement is a long and arduous one. Kelly took the purposeful decision to ease herself into old age when the new millennium began in the year 2000. She didn't want any ties to the entertainment world because she'd lost interest in it after a long period of time. Her desire to pursue a career in drama had been a lifelong ambition of hers, but she was unable to fully pursue it due to other responsibilities. She appreciated horror films, but she felt that the genre lacked many of the elements that she had cultivated as an actor in other genres, despite her enjoying them. Mr. Kelly Maroney is her husband. Kelly Maroney's personal life is kept hidden from the public eye in the same way that the majority of promising stars do. The majority of our readers are unlikely to come across information about her marital status. However, according to reports, she was married to a man named Daniel Ulin in the year 2016. Both of the lovebirds had met previously before sealing the knot in their respective cities. Unfortunately, their romance did not continue long, and they divorced after a few years of marriage, which was regrettable. Following the end of their relationship, Kelly severed all links with the media and disappeared off the face of the earth. Kelly Maroney has an estimated net worth of $1 million. Kelly is a well-known actress who had a number of successful films in a short period of time. There have been many ups and downs in my professional life, which began in 1979. Her film's success had brought her a substantial sum of money, but unfortunately, nothing about her net worth has been released. Are you a fan of Kelly Maroney? What do you think about her appearance in various films? Which movies caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments below, and check out the next video in this series.